Yeah, yeah, I've been waiting all morning to try this delicious food. And you should know that carnival season, it's going on right now in New Orleans. This is the time to splurge, so you got to celebrate with this authentic Cajun cooking. I'm here with J.J. Boudreaux. Now, J.J., what do you got over here? This is our Cajun sausage gumbo. Cajun sausage gumbo. You're plating it up right now. And, okay, so what's the process here? I understand you're going to put something on top of that. Yes, it's served with uh, uh, white rice, a little filet, and um, hot butter French bread. Ooh, yeah, and this is the way that you would eat it when you were growing up in New Orleans, right? Yeah, in New Orleans, they all always serve it with, with uh, white rice on top. White rice. And, and uh, when you were growing up, I mean, you moved here to Louisville in 1979, but you you perfected these recipes home-cooked with your mom, isn't that right? Yeah, I've been cooking with mom for about 50 years. I mean, the difference is we would do it from scratch and it would take you three to three and a half hours. Okay. With the product that we developed, we took mom's recipe and put it into granular form, and you can have the exact same uh, gumbo that it would take me three and a half hours to cook, and you could have it in 30 minutes. Yeah, that's the amazing thing, and uh, you can actually, these products, uh, you can buy these over here at uh, Boudreaux's Cajun Cooking in Middletown, it's right on Shelbyville Road, and it's, it's a quick 30-minute dinner, and it yep. uh, doesn't have to take hours, and it tastes just as good. Now, you've got the, jum or the gumbo here. You're getting ready to serve up the jambalaya. I'm going to do a little taste test of both because this looks incredible. For people who don't know, what, how do you describe the difference between gumbo and jambalaya? Well, a gumbo basically is a... Uh, is a spicy Cajun soup served mm. with white rice. Jambalaya is actually a Cajun rice dish. Uh, and, and today we're doing chicken and sausage jambalaya. And you can tell with the consistency it's more soup-like and then you put the rice on top versus that, you can see the rice is cooked right into it. Exactly. Which one's got more of a kick, you think? Because this, one, this one's good, but it's not too spicy. Right, right. we do. Uh, uh, that is more flavorful, very mm -hmm. rich flavor. Um, the jambalaya usually has a little bit more of a kick to it. Okay, here we go with the jambalaya. And what type of meat did you say was in here? Oh, uh, that's uh, smoked sausage and, uh, and chicken. Oh my gosh, guys at home, look at that. So delicious, I'm excited to try. A little hot. A little hot, I know. No, be hot, be careful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, that one's got a little kick to it. Oh also, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, the flavor profile's so different but both so comforting and authentic. I can't believe that you can make these in 30 minutes. Yep. Very unique product. It took us um, over a year to develop it and to get a, a manufacturer to put uh, mom's recipe into a granular form. Mm. Yeah, it is so good. And you can come, it's a cold day, come here and warm up. It's right on Shelbyville Road in Middletown and they're open from 11 to two, Monday through Friday. Perfect thing to do for lunch. Now ladies, um, I'm curious, uh, these are both amazing, but we are taking some orders to bring some stuff back to the station. So if you had to pick, what do you think? Gumbo? Gumbo or for, no, jambalaya, jambalaya for me. Jambalaya for me. Jambalaya mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, I would do jambalaya the jambalaya for, both. for sure. Yeah, it, it's so You know, so the good. gumbo's good, it though. Is. And the spice <laughs> will warm you up on this super cold day. Well, JJ said if it, there ain't a kick, it ain't Cajun. There you go. So, Thank Matt. you, Madeline. <laughs> and Matt will take both, right? Uh, for sure. I was going to say gumbo, though. I mean, not that I don't like jambalaya, but, I mean, uh, the gumbo looked good, especially on a day where we're not 